Jason Cannon, equipment editor for Overdrive here, and I wanted to share a little bit of my impression from the Tesla Electric Semi reveal that was uh, in Hawthorne, California on November the 16th. The driver environment in this truck is really unique, uh, mostly spearheaded by the center mounted seat. Um, Elon Musk spent a lot of time touting the improved visibility that comes from the, the center mounted seat and, and how far forward it is. The seat really almost sits on top of the front axle. Uh, and and I've, I sat in the seat and it really is a nice wide panoramic view. Uh, they did add some blind spot cameras which are visible in the screens that are mounted at the side of the driver. But those are almost a necessity thanks to that center mounted seat. Uh, you, there's, you can't really lean over to, the, to your left and kind of peek down the side of the truck to see the stairs to see if there's a car in the blind spot. That center mounted seat actually created some blind spots. They've kind of mitigated that with the integration of those cameras, but the cameras don't really add any additional benefit because that field of view has been taken away. The exterior of the truck, it's, it's striking. It, it's unique. Um, from the side, I've heard people say that it looks like a stormtrooper's helmet. I've heard people say it looks like a welder's mask. You can put me in the welder's mask group. Uh, it's, it's steep and angular. Tesla claims some really aggressive aerodynamic coefficient. It's really impressive, and I think we've all kind of seen the migration to the, the aero tractor. Uh, this is certainly a level above and beyond that. One of the things I found interesting was the integration of the displays to the driver's left and the driver's right side. Uh, there's a navigation unit integrated in there. Uh, Elon Musk says you can add an ELD in there. You can add all your telematics in there. Uh, and then on the left side is where you'll find your, your air pressures um, and basically what you would consider your instrument cluster. Uh, there is no dash panel inside the truck. Uh, when you look out of the front of the truck, when you're looking through the steering wheel, um, that's basically all you see is the steering wheel and then the windshield. The steering wheel is really small. It's really got a race car type feel to it. It's, it's about as small, if not smaller, than some passenger car steering wheels. There's a lot of this truck that I don't find practical. Um, the side windows, for example, they, they don't roll down. Uh, they're, they're vent style. They, they kind of pop out. It's plenty wide enough to put your hand through there. Or you can hand somebody a paper, a log book, you know, whatever. But there are times you kind of want the window to come down. That's not even an option. If you've seen the pictures of the inside of the dash, you'll notice that there's there's a lot of things missing and that there's not really a dash there and that includes the air brakes. Um, you know, there's, there's no red button there, there's no yellow button there. Tesla didn't give a lot of detail into how those functions would work. This is a prototype truck so it's not really designed to haul freight on the highway. It'll be interesting to see how they put some of the more traditional trucking elements in a completely non-traditional truck.